Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, I'm going to show you another instance of the ultimate blunder, that is resigning in a winning position. It's white to move here, and instead of finding the only move that wins, the Grandmaster resigned here. So just to make sure the threat is really clear, if I make a move like f7, it doesn't really matter because rook c1 is the mate, like this, that's going to lose the game for white. So your job is to figure out in this position, what is the one move that wins the game for white? Again, the big threat is rook c1 with then promotion of the pawn to follow. While you're thinking about the answer to this, let me quickly encourage you to subscribe if you have not yet already. Half of the income I earn in this channel goes directly to charity, so every like, every subscriber helps us out so much. All right, let's talk about the answer here. So I showed f7. f7 is not a good move because it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't address this threat. What about other moves? Maybe you're thinking promote the pawn to a queen, and then if rook takes queen, you can take this pawn and you're in the clear. So that's correct. However, they don't have to take the queen. So if they did, then you're good, but they don't have to take the queen. Instead, this rook is still defending this pawn, which means this square is still mine for the taking. So rook c1 still does the damage that the threat intended. So this would not work out. So what other moves are there? You can't promote the pawn. You can't push the pawn. You really can't do anything, it seems. And that's why the Grandmaster resigned. So maybe you're thinking I can defend this, maybe something like that. Remember, the whole idea is rook c1. So even though this is attacked, it doesn't work because remember this queen moves a check, you don't have time to take, it doesn't really work out. So what is the right move and how do you figure it out? So one thought, really creative thought, is hey, I want to get rook c1 to be delayed or I want to try to see if I can prevent it. Maybe you think rook c6 and if they take, it buys you a move to do something. However, you don't actually have anything you can promote, but just like before, doesn't actually matter. So what is the move? I've given a couple of hints here, hopefully. Another thought might be, move the king away. Well, yeah, you can do that, but they just promote now because it's defended. Okay, so what's the solution? I'm going to give the answer now. So this is your last chance if you don't want to know it. Okay, the superstar move is rook to d6. What is happening here? This rook can be captured in two different ways. Pretty cool. Okay, let's talk about it. If the rook captures, that buys me just enough time to promote this pawn, not only promoting it, but with check. And now, how does this proceed? You have a couple of options as black. You can back up, you can move the king. Just to show the idea, if you back up, I can just take this, which is another amazing move. They capture, f7. And guess what's happening? No matter what, I'm winning this game. After the smoke clears, white is up. Super nice sequence. And if, instead of the rook backing up, if the king moves, you pretty much just go for the same idea, which is to sacrifice the queen for a rook. You can take, and again, you can play this multiple ways. Let's just say the king wants to run away. You can do something like this. Let's say the king keeps running away. You can eventually just sacrifice like that and then push this pawn. Just a sample line to give you the idea. Kind of a nice sequence. I think in this, I'd probably make this move to pin, but it's not the most efficient, I'm sure. Okay, so that's a nice sequence. We just talked about what if the rook took, but what about the pawn? The pawn can also capture, and that would preserve this whole thing. If the pawn captures, it's now interfering from the rook's defense of d2. So what does that mean? I now have the time to play f7. If they make this rook c1 move now, I just take here. The rook is not protecting this d2 square anymore. You see the difference? This was an interference sacrifice if they take with the pawn. So after f7, there's not really anything they can do. They can try to defend this square, and we can put all the firepower on there, but it's not enough. Take, promote, take, take. And after the smoke clears, white has a bishop, and I'm about to clear up this pawn. 
you can't do anything as black here. So as I mentioned, in this position, black had the winning idea and white resigned. However, there was one key move that they missed. Rook d6, super nice move. I love the line here about taking, promoting. This is such a cool move. Sacrifice twice, and there's nothing you can do. Right? This is covered, and you don't have the time to get both of these in here. Amazing. Were you able to find it? Go back to this initial position. Were you able to find the amazing rook to d6? If you were, let me know in the comments. Tell me how you figured it out. Maybe outline your thought process. It's so cool to see how everybody thinks about it. But yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye.